All right, today we go autocrossing in the 1LE in the rain? So we just did an autocross this weekend in the 1LE and it was in the pouring rain, it was cold, and I'm not a rain guy, I'm not a cold autocross guy, I like dry warm weather where I can get lots of grip, but I went out because I wanted to get back in the saddle again, so to speak, with the 1LE on the Supercar 3s in the rain. And I wanted to do that in a controlled environment and autocross was the best way to sort of gain that car control back again. So we went out and I'll show you some of the footage right now. Um, a couple things, I did not play with tire pressure at all because I wanted to basically have me as the only variable. I didn't want to start messing around with tire pressure. So it was about eight degrees Celsius in the morning and it warmed up to about 10 or 12. So that's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit at the warmest. Uh, for all you guys down south so have a look at the runs and then we'll talk a bit after all right let's do a course walk this is our launch area we're gonna do a slalom all the way down now the fun part here is always to make sure that you don't go into any of that because on the other side of those bushes or those prickle bushes there is a river and inside that area is a bunch of stumps. A couple guys found that out before when they slid into that. So definitely gonna be looking to keep the 1LE under control. So we'll have a large slalom down here and then I'll show you the next section coming up. All right, and after the long slalom here, I got what we call the, I call it the teardrop, but it's a uh, right hand tight sweeper here. And as you can see, it takes you back down and you join the slalom going the other way. And we'll take a look at that section after we go there next. And coming back around the teardrop and joining back into the slalom again, here's where you can get a lot of speed. And if you get out of sorts right here, well, you're looking right at that bushes and then right at that riverbank there. So looking backwards, Quite a bit of speed to be had coming down through here. And this cone right here is important as well because you're gonna to wanna to get back to the left, control the car. More interesting elements here. A lot of uh, left hand, right hand sweepers here crossing over. And again, we're gonna come around, all the way around, and back around here. So there's two sort of double backs towards the exit there, or the finish line I should say. I'll put up a picture of the track map because it's a little hard to film and actually understand what's going on. I wanna kinda of pay attention here. So I'll put up a picture of the map so you can actually see the layout. It's a very uh, small gathering today, only 50 cars. This is a test and tune, so a lot of smaller, more nimble cars out here. Less power, hopefully, uh, I can put some of it down. First run 56, we'll clean up on that. 
Okay, well that was run number one in the afternoon with the full course and uh, yeah, it is slippery. I've got traction control, stability control, everything turned off. I'm just running in track mode. I find that in track wet, uh, everything is uh, interfering. Everything is uh, delayed, you know, the car is numb. I've got no ability to control the car. So I've turned everything off. I think it's a lot more uh, controllable, but also you really got to watch because anything over 3000 rpm these tires are instantly spinning it's raining more now um unfortunately so i'm gonna see how we do on our next run and see if i can pick up the time a little bit everything on all right well that was run two and i left everything on and yeah it doesn't doesn't like it it uh cut power everywhere it did catch me in one little slide there on the far end in the first sweeper but uh i think i would have been under control if i could just roll off the throttle and uh, then progressively get back on it so run two was uh track mode everything on all the nannies on and now they're back off for run three nice to see another one le out here I wonder if he's struggling as much as I am. I'm sure he is, but we'll talk to him uh, after the first heat here and talk to him about some of his tactics here. Go. Well, that was run three and as you can see now that i don't have any traction control on i'm a little aggressive because i'm used to hammering the throttle and trying to get something out of the car so that was a little bit aggressive a little bit sideways around a 56.4 really ugly 56.4 i think if i clean that up i'll definitely beat a 56.2 so i'm going to go in a little bit now more conservative and i'm going to try to uh bring that into the 55 zone which is i think where i want to be a kind of 55 would be a nice time all right, a couple more runs left. Let's see what we can do here. You ready? Yes. Go.
Well, that would have been a 55.6, but I just took out some cones. Almost. Dang, is it slippery. Okay, well, that run was actually looking pretty good, and then I ended up getting a little crossed up there, entering the uh, stop box or the slowdown box, and ended up going around it. So I kind of DNF'd that one, but it would have been roughly around a 55.6, 55.7, so some good improvement there over half a second. So all I gotta do is tone it down on the end there and make a little bit uh, more progress, you know, upstream of that, I guess you would say, in the beginning part of the course, I think I can get a mid 55. I think that's possible. Uh, a couple left here, so let's see what I can put together. That was fun, eh? <laughs> Someone on the radio says, I think this guy's a DNF and I look at yeah. you coming across the lawn. Yeah, I ended up, uh, going around the stop box on purpose a bit. I was yeah. kind of getting a little crooked and I just thought, let it go around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of the course workers are not sure. They're like, I might be. A yeah, oh yeah, definitely yeah, DNF. run was a 55-0 and that was clean so right now I'm about uh, 16th in packs out of around 40 drivers actually so not too bad um, I got a lot of improvement still I'm still very rusty yeah yeah excuses but uh, damn you can hear that GTR take off again yeah a little bit of improvement if I can get down to a 54-8 54-9 I would take any 54 but 54-8 54-9 would probably move me up to 13th 12th in packs at this point there's a lot of guys right around the 55 0 mark so let's do one more and see if i can clean that up a little bit more still at the very end there the last uh, right hander before the uh the stop box or the finish there i'm still getting a little crooked and i can't get on the throttle um it's an off camber sort of curve and it as soon as you turn in turn in is okay but then the back end steps way out so i gotta be a little bit more patient and then roll into the throttle once i know that the car is planted six runs i ended up with a 55.0, which was pretty good i believe overall i was about 16th in packs like i said in the video not bad it really really paid off uh, to be patient 
right? To be disciplined, waiting for the throttle, making sure that the car was planted, there was no over rotation. Well, the Supercar 3s, I don't like them at all actually in the wet. I don't like them when it's cold and wet either. There were other guys out there who had uh, the Yokohama tire of choice. I believe it's the AO52. They had the Bridgestone RE71Rs and they were doing things with their cars that blew me away because there's no way that the Supercar 3 would do that. They had way more grip, um, but that's just the way it goes. You need temperature for certain tires. Other tires are a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more softer compound, I believe, and that's why they had the grip they did. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna bring the 81 out soon, and we've got some RE71Rs for this thing. We're gonna put them on, and we're gonna actually go out and do some autocross when it's dry, because this thing, you know, it's really bad in the rain, but we're gonna go out when it's dry, and we're gonna see about laying some good lap times down in Cam T, and see if we can actually beat everybody else there in Cam T. I think we got a pretty good shot. Take care, we'll see you in the next video and happy Easter weekend for all of you. Bye for now.